Hey guys, today I just wanted to go over how to wire an outdoor condenser. All right, um, what you have is you have a uh, dual contactor here. All right, a two pole contactor. All right, what happens is you have 240 volts coming into this. You got to look at the rating plate on the outdoor of the condenser. What you're looking for is um, you're looking for max amp, max amperage wire. All right, so um, or max ampacity. So what you're really looking for is if you need to put 10 gauge wire here or 8 gauge or 12 gauge so um, you need to have the right gauge wire running into this All right, uh, 14 gauge is 15 amps, uh, 12 gauge is 20 uh, 10 gauge is 30 amp, uh, eight, 8 gauge is 40 and then you just move on from there down up to uh, higher and higher sizes there All right. Um, it doesn't matter which side you put the hot or the other hot in okay so if you have a white and a black wire it doesn't matter if you put the white here and the black here the black here and the white there it does not matter all right or say you have a, a a black and a red it does not matter okay they're both 120 volt legs okay they go in and then you got the ground you do not need a common coming from the 240 volt on most outdoor condensers but once again you got to check that rating plate all right uh this right here you have a ground screw that's where you attach the ground uh, the bare copper wire to or the green wire all right um, you just for the hot wires you just stick it underneath each of these terminals all right and you tighten each each one of them down and then you just put your ground wire underneath the copper lug or the aluminum lug and then you tighten that one down these two right here is a 24 volt coil for the contactor all right when you energize this with 24 volts it's going to suck the contactor down all right it's going to close these circuits from here to here and here to here all right so you should have two wires running out from the uh, indoor unit okay one will be 24 volt power and one will be 24 volt common all right it does not matter once again if you power with hot here and common here or hot here and common there okay you just need to um, power a, a load that is a coil okay same thing with a um, um, any any type of uh, coil whatsoever, all right? Like a light bulb, it doesn't matter which way you 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 power that. Uh, obviously, the uh, bulb socket on the light bulb is uh, makes you put it in one specific way, but it doesn't really doesn't matter which way you uh, power it. All right, that would be an incandescent at least. But anyway, so you have your uh, capacitor up here, all right? Um, you have the yellow where the yellow wires attach into it, right here that usually gets powered directly off of the contactor all right and then you look at the capacitor where it says c or herm all right the blue wire right here right next to it on the capacitor right next to it on the capacitor right here it says herm and that goes to the compressor this brown wire right here says f or fan and that one goes to the fan that's on the top of the outdoor condenser all right so um it's pretty simple, you know, just wiring this up. And if you want to take your low voltage 18 gauge uh, wire and curly cue it, just make sure that you do not um, scar the outside. And that one's a little bit tight, um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's actually a lot of bit tight. But sometimes people do this so that you, if you if somebody accidentally hits it, it can stretch a little bit. Um, it doesn't rip the wire, um, but this is a little bit extra tight for, for this sake. So you just need 24 volts in to power the uh, 24 volt coil. Um, 240 volts to here, all right, and then you just need your grounding circuit, and that's basically it. All right, your 24 volt circuit. Whenever you turn your thermostat to the cooling, it's going to energize from the thermostat. It's going to energize the from red to yellow, and the yellow is going to track all the way out here and power the contactor, and it's going to come back through the common back to your indoor uh, control board. All right, so that's that. That's a uh, how you wire an outdoor condenser. Hope you enjoyed yourself. See you next time. AC Service Tech.